Hey, my name's Trevor, and today we're going to be building a ground seat for a saddle. So we're going to start off by measuring our tree and figuring out right where our stirrup leather blocks need to go. We're going to start by flipping over the tree, and you can see our, our ridges here. We're going to follow that ridge up into the tree, and then we're going to follow that up so we can see it on the top side of the tree, just like that, and do that on both sides. And then we're gonna measure three and a quarter inch back for a three inch stirrup leather. And these are the marks we're going to set our blocks off of. And these are our blocks that help blend the stirrup leather slot here into the seat. And we have these that help blend the stirrup leather slot into the swell. So we're gonna get started with skiving down these edges so that everything rolls nice and smooth. So before I skive the leather, I dip it in the sink for about eight to 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna let the leather sit in a plastic bag for another 10 minutes so that the leather can really get cased up. So the water is all the way through the leather and it makes it easier to skive. So if you didn't have a three in one, then you just take your head knife and you'd make that same skive. The three in one just makes it a whole lot easier. So now we're going to mark the locations that these are gonna go on the tree so we can glue the exact line in. So we're gonna take a Sharpie. We're gonna line that corner up right with our mark. And we're gonna make our line, get the next piece, give a little bend to it, make it form a little easier. Line everything up. Um, one thing to look for is, is this slot on the bottom. You want to you want to be pretty close to lined up with this here slot on the bottom. As you can see by that point that I am. So I just got a leather scratcher here. We're going to scratch it up. So I'm doing this so that the glue will adhere better to both pieces and it'll create a more permanent bond. Okay, now that we've got all of our pieces scratched, it's time to glue everything up and stick it down. So two things that are important while you're doing this is to not get the glue too thick. If you get the glue too thick, then you can have it be set up on top, but the, the middle isn't cured enough yet to stick and it will not bond properly. And the other thing to look for is to make sure that your leather's not too wet the glue will not stick well to sopping wet leather. We're just gonna put a thin layer of glue on. Um, if you start to see big pieces of built up glue or big streaks, that means you probably got too much glue and you just need to spread it out a little bit thinner. Right now we're waiting for the glue to get nice and tacky. Right now it's just a little bit too wet and if, if we tried to stick everything at this point, the the glue isn't tacky enough to actually hold the pieces together. So we're gonna let it sit for five minutes and come back to it and it should be ready to stick. So while you're doing this, it's important to, to make sure everything's lined up the first time and not try sticking the glue a couple times. And it's important to just line everything up real good. That way we get the best adhesion out of our glue. And when I stick these bigger blocks in, I like to have a little bit of room on the edge just so I can trim it and everything's nice and flush. So it's important that your the rough side is up. Um, the smooth side, it doesn't skive very well. So now we're gonna get right into skiving the pieces. I've got this safety skiver here. Make sure you have a good fresh blade. And we're going to be blending from full thickness into the tree here making sure we keep the curvature of the tree and don't have any lumps or bumps or anything that'll cause discomfort for the rider. I'm gonna start by knocking that edge off first. This is just, just basic shaping that we're doing here. We'll really get into for the shape of the rider in the, in the next pieces to come. This just gives us a good foundation that follows the tree and 
gives us a good place to start. You'll also want to make sure you have plenty of blades for these because these hit nails and get ruined really fast. So I'm just looking at kind of the curvature of the tree here. I want to make sure that as it, as it comes from here to here, that it just kind of blends naturally. And it's very important that everything matches or it'll, it'll make you sit one way or the other in your saddle. Okay, now we'll flip the saddle around and blend these into the swell. So this is our strainer plate. Um, it basically acts as a bridge to fill in this, this void and give us a nice structure to our ground seat. Um, they come pretty flat and pretty shapeless, so I'm just gonna start rounding out this a little better and making these ridges and stuff disappear. So we'll start. Bend that just a little bit more for this particular saddle. And I'm going to line up this flat part on the strainer plate with my blocks that I've put in here. And then I'm gonna make sure everything's nice and centered. So it's important to have stout enough nails that they'll hold the strainer plate in, but not so long that they poke all the way through the tree. I'm gonna put that nail in about halfway and make sure we are still centered. And I'm gonna put the other nail in on the other side. Now as I put my nails in, I'm gonna work them side to side. And when I get about halfway through, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna form the strainer plate to the cannel. And I'm gonna put that top nail in to hold everything in place there. Make sure everything looks level and even. And we'll get on to the first layer of our ground seat. So I like to start with a layer that will cover up the strainer plate. That way I'm not hitting the nails with my skiver as I'm going through. I'm just gonna make sure everything everything covers. I'm gonna form it in just a little bit and then I'm gonna mark with a Sharpie around the outside for my glue line. And then I'm gonna take this over to the three in one. I'm gonna knock down all the edges. That way everything's nice and easy to skive. But just any of this, this area here, scratch that up so the glue sticks really good. Okay, get everything glued up. And it's important not to get any glue in the stirrup leather slot. Um, after we get this glued, we're gonna put some fillers in there. Okay, now while the glue's setting up, we will put our stirrup leather blocks in. So these are just the thickness of the stirrup leather and they'll fit real nicely. Now that our glue's all tacky, we're gonna stick it down. I'm gonna start with the front and work my way to the back. So I'm gonna bend that in half and try and line everything up the best I can. I'm gonna come in with a hammer. I'm gonna tap my edge around the swell in. Slick out everything that just came up. Tap around the edge of our strainer plate here. You wanna be pretty gentle here. On this piece, we're really gonna follow that contour of the tree again and just eliminate any bumps that the strainer plate put in. This is our first step of smoothing everything, so we're gonna try and make everything as smooth as possible on this one. I tend to start right in the waist here. That way I can, I can narrow this waist up as much as I can and then I can blend everything else to the waist. It's also important right here to not have a big flat spot for you to hit right back there. So make sure when you're skiving these pieces out to really keep the dish of that 
cannel. Now I'll flip the saddle around and I'll do this front half the same way. Just making sure everything's good and smooth. I'm scooping when I use this tool. I'm almost, I'm almost digging like that, just over longer stretches. So if I was gonna go from here, that's a, that's a big scoop that I'm taking out right there. This is roughly the shape that you want for your next step. Uh, we still need to clean that up just a little bit. So this is our riser piece. It's gonna go in just like that. Like I said, this just gives a little more rise, sets the rider up just a little bit more. So we'll put that through the three in one around all the edges, and then we'll trace it on here and glue it in. I'm gonna start with this radius here. It's something that I can track pretty easily. That way everything stays good and straight. I'm going to set these edges again with the hammer. So with this piece, I'm just, I'm just trying to match that curvature of the tree still, make sure I don't get any lumps or bumps. And this is just basically a riser piece that just gives the rider a little more rise to the front. You wanna be careful not to add too much water at this stage or else your next layer won't stick the way it's supposed to. The other thing that's it's important to note is when you add a rise, you need to make sure that it has a nice, a nice slope to it. If this is too flat, then this will cause an uncomfortable spot. So you, you need to keep in, keep in mind that there's a person going in this and a person isn't flat from here to here. They have slope. This is our top piece. It's cut big for the saddle so that we can trim in our cannel we can get everything nice and exact. But first, before we do that, it's gonna make it easier to fit this if this front section is skived. So we'll take this over to the bench and we'll show you skiving with a round knife. Up to now, we've just done a three-in-one. So we'll show you how to skive that in with a round knife or a head knife. We're gonna add just a little bit of water to this where we're gonna skive. And then we'll skive this in. If it starts to hang up, just rock your knife a little bit. And make sure to always keep your, your body behind the blade. You don't want that to pop out and cut you. So now that we've got that all skived up, we're gonna fit it in the saddle. Um, for that, I'm going to use my drawdown strap. And then I'm just going to run this point knife along the cannel. And then I'm going to cut this kind of back so that that's not in the way. Okay, so now we're gonna take this to the bench and I'm going to skive in this back half. Okay, so we've got this all glued up. So now we're just gonna line everything back up where it should go and get it stuck. I'm gonna start with the back because I've already cut in this cannel to be exact. So I'm gonna set this 
kind of a tricky thing to, to stick down, but. Let me get this whole top section stuck and then we'll clamp this in the drawdown stand and get that stuck that way. Now I'm gonna run a screw to really make sure that's nice and tight. I wanna get into the meat of the bar here. And really stick it down. And then we'll just cut right along the, this slot here. We'll cut right to the back of that. Get a hammer and tap down all these lumps. And now I'm gonna trim off the excess right in here. Just running that knife right along the edge of the bar. And while the, the saddle tree's flipped upside down, I'm gonna take a diamond awl and I'm gonna stab three holes. I'm gonna eyeball center as best I can. You can mark center if you want. I'm gonna stab that all the way through, making sure I'm staying nice and straight. So I'm gonna to come to this corner right here and I'm gonna stab a hole right there. And the same thing on this side. Get to that corner, stab a hole. So now we have our three holes that we've stabbed. I'm gonna take a pair of wing dividers, and this is gonna be our hand hole. So we'll go ahead and cut that in with a, with a knife. I'm gonna use a head knife for the, for the first initial cut, and then I'll come back in with, a, with just a regular point knife to clean everything up. Then I'll come back through and just clean up the cut with this. Make sure it's all the way poked through. Make sure it's all the way to the tree. I'm gonna take a hammer. I'm gonna pound this all down flat. Now I'm gonna come from the underside here. So I'm gonna follow this gullet all the way around, keeping that knife as flush as I can. So I'll start just by cutting through the first layer. Okay, just like that. And then we'll flip it over and clean everything up so that this is nice and flush with the gullet. So now I'm gonna cut right around here. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna, it's gonna make right here more narrow. Come up just a little ways. You don't wanna get too crazy here. If you come up too high, then it can leave dimples in your top seat. And I'm gonna cut this one out and flip it over and use it as a pattern on this side. And I wanna go through all the layers till I get to that, that block. And then I'm gonna use a saddle seat stick and I'm gonna flatten everything out here. Flatten out all those bumps, all those ridges. Make everything nice and smooth. That gives us a really good base to start skiving on. Then I'm gonna take a bouncer and I'm gonna rub that in in the back. So this is our top layer. We don't have any more gluing to do on this right now. So this you can, you can soak down as much as you want. And on this top piece, I like to start right in here and just narrow this seat up as much as I can and then blend from there. So at this point, the main thing I'm looking for is nice, smooth curves that follow that original shape of the tree. If the tree maker knew what he was doing, all this curvature should be built in and we're just refining that curvature and making it comfortable for the rider. We want this back part of the tree to be relatively flat, 
We still want that curvature that the tree has, but just right back here, we want to be a little flatter. That way you have a, a seat to sit down on and it's not like you're sitting on a log or... And if you start getting chattery like that, then it could mean that you need more water or it could just be the piece of leather is too dense to be skiving. Either way, when you start getting stuff like that, instead of trying to knock them down from this way, try coming at them from the side and smoothing them down that way. Right here, I'm intentionally leaving thicker. That way I can put my rigging in and my rigging's gonna come clear up to here in this saddle. And I can then skive my rigging as my ground seat and have everything taper off right into the rigging from there. Instead of if I had this with no thickness to it, then it would be harder to match my rigging and my ground seat together. So I'm just trying to leave everything thick through here so everything can match together nicely. So we're gonna start on our cannel now. So we wanna keep that same dish that the cannel already had. So I'm gonna start really heavy in the middle and then blend my way out. Okay, so once you're to this stage, it's time to start filling for bumps. Something that the eye can't pick up. Right now I've got just a little bit right here. The best way to tell if your seat's comfortable or not is just to sit in it. It should feel a little bit too narrow at this stage because when you add that extra thickness of leather in, it should bump everything out just a little bit. So at this stage, it should feel just a little bit too narrow. This one's just about ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and slick it down with our seat stick. And I'm not pressing very hard. I'm just, I'm just trying to even everything out. And when I was tapping here, I was just listening to make sure the glue all sounded stuck. Now that the ground seat's all smooth and ready to go, we're gonna work on putting a strainer cover on it. So first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to pull out these blocks that we put in. Just gonna pinch that and then that lip right there. Just pull everything right out. So this is, this is gonna be what we cover our strainer plate with. We're gonna set it in there. Start forming it. And then I'm gonna take a hammer, tap in right along that bar. I'm gonna tap right into the, right into this hand hole here. Start forming that in. So I'm gonna cut right on the outside of this line. And then I, when I get to right here, I'm gonna flare it out just before that corner there. Take the edge down to no thickness left. So there's no need to scratch any of these parts. Just get it glued real nice. So I'm just gonna glue about three quarters of an inch around the hand hole and then I'm gonna glue this face of the hand hole here. Okay, so our glue is dried. We're gonna go ahead and stick this on. I'm just gonna lay that in where it was. Try to line everything right back up. And on this part, we're gonna, we're gonna tweak that leather in towards the hand hole on that side, and then the other way on the other side. And that creates extra leather in here, so we'll have more leather to work with. If you were to just fold this straight over, that, that roll would be extremely difficult to make. making sure we don't get too far ahead of where we're going. We wanna make sure that everything's stuck on the place before, before we move on to the next spot. So we got everything stuck on the face. So now we're gonna start 
working the leather. I'm stretching it to get it to form into the this plane here. If it's really fighting you, you can make a couple cuts just like this, some relief cuts. Now we're gonna smooth out all those wrinkles. Okay, now we're gonna trim about three quarters of an inch away from the hand hole. And then we're gonna take our skiver and blend that into the ground seat. Now we'll do our final inspection on the ground seat. Just look everything over, make sure everything looks even. Make sure there's no weird lumps or bumps or ridges. Okay, everything looks good. So that'll be it for our ground seat and stay tuned for the next one.